Right then, I'm back again with another collection video, this time showing my Dreamcast. Now, my Dreamcast can play PAL, American, Japanese, pretty much everything. So I've got a bit of a mixture here. The first up, not really a game, it's the Dream Key version 1.5. Um, a proper game to show you. You all know that one. Strangely though, I've never actually played it. I've tried it, but I've never played it. Um, the third one's coming out soon. While I get into it, I don't know. It's it's a big game. Well recommended though. Sega Rally 2 Championship. You've probably already seen my Saturn video showing the first Sega Rally, but this is the second one and it plays really well. It's probably not as good as the first one, but still a good game nonetheless. A bit of Sonic action, Sonic Adventure 2. Um, I can honestly admit that I've never played it. I've never played it. I've played the original Sonic Adventure, but I've never, I never really got into the 3D games. Um, moving from the Mega Drive to the, you know, the next generation of uh, Sonic 3D, modern Sonic, green eyes and all. No, I, could, I just couldn't get into it. Speaking of Sonic, here is the original one. This game I saw many years ago, probably. 2000 2001 went round to a mate's house and he had it on and it blew me away it looked great but i just couldn't get to grips with the controls just wasn't used to 2d to 3d but never mind 18 wheeler american pro trucker one of uh, richard turner's favorites i believe he's got the uh, actual arcade cabinet up in his loft really good game a little bit difficult actually but still great fun to play Sega Bass Fishing. I've got the uh, the fishing rod attachment, the controller, the proper controller, and it plays really well. Great game. And um, this was one of the first games I played on actually, probably back in 2000 for the Dreamcast. Very fun game. Okay, so we've got some Japanese games now. This is Godzilla Generations. Now I remember standing in W. H. Smith in probably late '98 reading about this Godzilla game coming out and it, had the, it showcased the uh, the green VMU and it looked great, it looked phenomenal. Um, never never played it, never played it until very recently, probably last year, picked it up. <sighs> My God, hashtag steaming turd. Gigawing, Gigawing, um, picked this up from Steven, Game Not Loaded. He's not been on YouTube for a bit, but yeah, I picked this up from him. And this got me into the Tubers High Score Challenge. I picked it up and a few days later, I think I, I must have put it in to watch a gameplay video and it, it popped up. Another PAL title, uh, MSR, Metropolis Street Racer. The uh, the Vauxhall, or the Opal VX220 on the front. Nice little game. Followed by Rush Rush Rally Racing. Top down racer, a bit like Micro Machines, but I think a bit more difficult. The classic Japanese Daytona USA, 2001. Really good game. Classic Sega, what, what else can I say? This is Dynamite Decker 2. Did a GRS on this and I played it all the way through. And it's a, it's a funny old game. The, uh, the president president's daughter gets kidnapped and uh, you have to go and rescue her off this uh, this cruise liner it's really weird but uh, yeah it's a good game classic crazy taxi you can't go wrong with crazy taxi and there's the new ios version just being released which i've uh, yet to download but it does look good and you can't go wrong with a bit of crazy taxi can you next up is zero gunner 2 this was tipped off to me strangely enough by pete amor from uh <laughs> from uh sorry yeah uh pete pete on a on a retro tip this says something else then yeah pete uh, tipped me off on this and i picked it up uh, well i bidded on it early morning before i'm going away on um holiday sat in the airport and uh, put a sneaky bid in and i got it for a good price zero gunner two great game guy going two japanese version is it better than the first one Mm, it's still crazy with the scoring, but it's still a good game. Probably prefer the first one now, to be fair. Jet Set Radio. Um, fun, wacky game. Classic Sega, isn't it? Okay, last three games are all new games for Dreamcast. First one is Stormwind. 
This was a, a re-release I recently bought. Um, I have done a video on it, which I've yet to edit, so I will get that up eventually. Next up is Fast Striker from uh, NG Dev Team. Really good game, very colourful, phenomenal soundtrack. Didn't really like it at first, so I wasn't too sure, but once you get into it, so it's a really good game. And then finally, still sealed, it's PR Solar. I'm going to buy this for the Mega Drive, but this version has the original Mega Drive version, the 16-bit version, and it has the, uh, the HD Dreamcast version. I'm just finding, well, I just need to find some time to, uh, to get into it. Fortunately, Modern Life and other games uh, have taken priority. But I will get round to it one day. And I've also got the guide. So yeah, that is PR Solar. And that is the end of my Dreamcast collection. So until next time, guys. I'll see you later on, Cocker.